My name is Whitney and this is Bubba and welcome to our adventures on our channel, right Bubba? So we are currently staying at Jellystone Campground in the Mammoth Cave area and I'm taking you guys on our adventures. also have a fire going. It's nice and toasty out here. Alright, so we are currently taking the self-guided tour of Mammoth Cave. $8 a person and because it's self-guided, you don't have a tour guide. You get to walk around and look at what you want to look at. So, this shall be fun. times bigger all the way up to seven times larger than what it is right now so we could have a couple thousand miles here and we are just none the wiser oh man so, a couple pretty thousand big miles yeah all righty ladies and gentlemen if you have any harder breathing problems trouble walking long distances navigating stairs or any other health concerns consider this at this time evacuation from the cave can take several hours you're in the absolute middle of nowhere once you make your way down in there it will take hours to get you out even longer to get you to a hospital so do be aware that at this time the cave is dimly lit. Trails can be uneven or wet. The ceiling can be low. Use handrails. Watch your step and watch your head. The other thing. Oh, here, buddy. Mm. Is that a long leg spider? Yeah. They can't hurt. Nah. I think the coldness feels good because it's kind of warm outside, you know? Sure. Yeah, I love October. My favorite month. <laughs> There's not very many people down here. That's good. Perfect. We're here during the week. It's a Thursday. The Twilight Zone. You are journeying from white to black, descending into a sunless world where the weather is changeless and the time is frozen. This is the middle ground between the light and dark, the Twilight Zone. I was just watching that last night in the camper. Sorry about that, Wendy. I, I thought you were just reading it. No, it's fine. Y'all don't have to be quiet because of me. I should have brought my camera light, but I didn't want it to disturb people. So on the paper, it says Hutchins Narrows, named for a young man named John Hutchins, who, according to legend, discovered the entrance to Mammoth Cave while hunting for black bear in the 1790s. Slaves built the first modern trails in Mammoth Cave in the early 1800s to accommodate oxen pulling large wagons full of nitrate, rich cave soil. Nitrate would later be made into gunpowder. After the nitrate mining ended in 1815, these paths and others consisting of flat limestone slabs laid end to end became the first crude tourist trails. In memory of our fallen comrades of Kentucky and the American dead of World War. I mean, some of this could have been open up a lot of time, so I'm going to go. Somebody probably. 
Let me ask you this. Is, was some of this modified or is this natural? This big no, actually, ceiling walls are all natural. Oh, really? So the floor has been altered, but probably not in the way most people think. It, it would have looked bigger because the original floor was much lower. Oh, but they were collecting this dirt from the far reaches, bringing it here to process. This is the saltpeter mining area. So they pack dirt into the boxes and run water through it to extract oh. the water soluble nitrates. But then they just had a bunch of wet mud. They'd have oh. to dig that out and pile it up around the room, raising the floor. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. I see. But this is all natural. So the walls. Oh, okay. That's how they make gunpowder, right? Yep, like, exactly. Yeah, and these are original wooden artifacts over 200 huh. years old. Wow. Uh, they were making domestically sourced gunpowder for the War of 1812. Here. I'll be done. That's wow. cool. Yeah, that is. That's and neat. a lot of caves that, that people visit in Tennessee, if y'all have been to some caves down there south of us, they restarted their saltpeter mines during the Civil War. So people often ask us that huh. here, but they never restarted this mine because we were already operating as a tourist attraction. Oh, so there's more money in, in tourism by that yeah. point. So it's been a tourist huh. travel. We crashed our spaceship on a planet that is extremely dangerous and we're inside of a cave to hide out and, from the large creatures that are on this planet. We need to go back to Earth. Get off this hostile planet, right? Yeah. I had to put something silly in there. <laughs> Me and my dad watch a lot of Star Trek. Well, one thing I noticed is if you're on a self guided tour you know not very many people just walking around but if you're on a guided tour it's a big group of people so if you want to go off by yourself this is the way to go i definitely recommend it we are making our way out we were talking to a park ranger who is really friendly we were asking questions about floyd collins and a Native American that was in the cave. They found the body and it used to be on display many years ago along with Floyd Collins. And so they did bury Floyd who was the famous cave explorer. And apparently they had buried the Native American inside the cave. No one knows. It was like a secret area and we'll never find out where. And I also asked about the paranormal activity in the cave. Yeah, some interesting things. at the Old God Cemetery. Not sure if you knew this, but enslaved men and women worked at the historic Mammoth Cave Hotel and also worked as guides. And one of the most famous and the first guide of Mammoth Cave and Explorer was Stephen Bishop. So Stephen worked as a guide, as an enslaved person, and even worked out here after he was freed. For over 20 years, he was a guide. People always requested him. And not only was he a guide, he explored many new passageways that are used today inside Mammoth Cave. One of the craziest things that he had done was he had made a map from memory of the new parts that he explored. And that map was actually published in a book. But yeah, it was really interesting. Not only is Stephen bishop buried here there are three tuberculosis patients that are buried here and probably some other enslaved people as well not sure if you know the tuberculosis um experiment that happened in mammoth cave but it's pretty interesting let me know if you want a full video on that but yeah i, I thought it would be really neat to check out this cemetery and such interesting facts for sure All right, so we are pulling up to Big Mike's Rock Shop and Mystery House. Definitely recommend the little gift shops around Cave City if you love rocks, crystals, and funny gag gifts. It's a nice place to stop at and get good deals. I was hoping you would see it. T-Rex of the sea 65 million years ago, Big Mo. This has been here a long time since I was a little kid. 
me and my family would always come. It's a stool sample. Big Mo. We bought some gifts. I was little and I did it. You want to check out the rocks out here? Look at these. Oh my gosh. All the geodes. I'm dying because you know I'm a crystal lover. Do any kind of special properties? Yeah, they all do. If that's how someone believes, you know? Wow. I love the blue calcite. Oh, the pyramids are kind of cool. Oh, yeah, they're pretty. They're all pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just like my dad asked that guy in that other gift shop. I love that moon. Look at that moon. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. The fluorite. <laughs> Did you have fun camping, bub? Bobby? I love you. <laughs> Charlie, did you have fun camping? Jasper?